Good morning everyone, welcome back to the vlog. We are here now in Carporn Racing and we're gonna go over the 991 GT3 RS with the VAD kit real quick. I'm not gonna be on the vlog today, we're going to just do a POV style so you guys can appreciate all the work that we've done for this car. So starting with the front end, we've actually had to cover the vents here so that we don't build up any water. This is supposed to be for fuel, but basically now there's a hole and everything vents out. We've covered the Nakaducks there. And if you see the three bolts here, we've had to do this because we had to relax the hood. So there's the actual brace there to relax the hood so that we can get proper fitment. Now in front, the kit is a race car kit and we had to return the front signal lights. And as you can see, we molded it into the bumper and gave it a little lip so it looks OEM. We actually also trimmed this section out and we did a little curvature here to follow the natural lines for the car to increase cooling for the kit. Custom plate mount, we have our tow hook here which basically comes out so you can have a tow hook. That's actually pretty cool. I want one of those on the RWB front uh, hood pins and then on the side here, nothing much. We have our custom wheels here. We decided to use the stock uh, size for the GT3 RS and then the stock wheel as well. Today is going to be my test drive day which means I'm going to see if anything scrapes uh, more severe than what it is but uh, we torqued the wheels already. Now on the other side we had more modifications. Here we had to put a little gas cap and let me see if I can open it. There you go, a little gas cap and so hopefully this still works and you can go sideways with the gas cap. We'll find out in a short bit and then we had to cut this section of the side skirt to modify it so that we can get the wheel to clear. We didn't lower any of the wheels, we actually did rebarrel the wheels. These were stock GT3 RS wheels that we had to expand to do the custom offset and fitment for this kit. Now we didn't stance it out because we think it's gonna scrape in front. Also, we did make custom fender liners. Now the rear here is the major work of the car. We had to damage the whole rear fender and change the arch of the fender. On a race car, you run really small slicks and the centering of the system wasn't wasn't to my liking. I think also because the original GT3 R kit was a mid-engine so maybe they moved the whole wheel back. But for us we actually fixed the radius of this and then we added the stock fender vent here so that it feed into the airbox. That's why the whole rear fender has been painted already. We had no choice because we basically damaged the whole rear fender to refit the car. We ended up cutting this also here because on the original kit it creeps up all the way till the window which we didn't want to do. Now, moving to the rear. So, we did the, the gooseneck or the swan neck style wing. It's hard mounted into the car. And then we have our hood pins here for the rear deck lid. And then with the rear we didn't do much. We did add the rain light. We're just zip tying the plate number now so I can do a test drive. I had to modify the Dundon exhaust to be sort of a straight pipe already and then we also added a rear tow hook. This one is harder to pull out but it does go out like that. So today we're gonna do a quick test drive. I will do a POV from the Alphard that we can follow and hopefully nothing will be rubbing on the car because it's time to release this car so we can finish other projects. So let's go. So here it is in the light, we're getting some gas and our little cubby hole for the gas works. Yep, that still works. Yes, 1000 lang. Thank you. So we're gonna look at the car real quick in the light so you guys can appreciate the menacing look. The front end looks the business, it really looks amazing. I do love the intake and what we've done to the front end. Now the screens, yeah, we could actually make them similar, but for now, that's it. I'm missing the caps for that. So we're gonna do a quick road test. Just to make sure nothing is rubbing. We're gonna push it just a little. 
had to do some modifications over there. We actually did a slant cut on the lower diffuser here so that we don't scrape it on many things. But yeah, what do you guys think? I gotta cover this, it should be hidden, it's part of the... Oh, this one needs to be fastened properly. Okay, let's go have a rip. Okay, we're gonna do PDK and then ESC off, exhaust valve on, and ready for takeoff. because it's residential so success we didn't lower the car also considerably this is a big hump and no lift on front doesn't scrape the rear is a little low so you can't bounce it but no scrapes either and the exhaust is just noisy even with the valves but it's noisier with the valves open but it's just noisy period because we had to remove these center pipes so we're just gonna make our u-turn and head back to the shop Looks menacing. Absolutely love it. 